Of course, big tips you still make by providing exceptional service to your guests. But I would like to show you five different tricks that uh, make the biggest impact on your guests while you make cocktails. So that way they usually tip more. Those are not some special original moves that I created. Uh, those are actually common moves that I see a lot of bartenders do behind the bar. And every time they do the move, I see that guests are really impressed. And the funny thing, those are not the hardest moves. And it's nothing that you would have to juggle like uh, three, four bottles or do some kind of difficult moves. Those are actually one of the easiest moves that you can learn and learn them really, really quick. And we're not talking about like some really hard moves with three, four bottles or some kind of bumps. No, those actually are really safe easy to learn moves and most of them you can learn just in one day. Almost forgot to mention that you guys don't need a lot of space behind the bar. Uh, you can do those moves in, in really, really small area. First trick with bar napkin. So you guys all have small bar napkins at the bar and you hold the corner right there and then place uh, four fingers on the bottom and then you do regular spin like this uh, don't hold it like too far from your bar top so like hold it right next to it one two usually gets pretty impressed uh, from, from moves like this and the, the, the best one you can do is when you do the spin and then place it on top of the hand and put it upside down so it's not hard but take like maybe a um, few hours of practice when you do it like constantly be behind the bar uh, it will come really really easy it's just uh, my students make mistake sometimes they're trying to stop it and then put it upside down I wouldn't recommend that I believe much easier if you again take it a corner uh, do the spin and as soon as you touch hands you put a lace it upside down of course if you beginner you will do a spin like this most of my students just do like a, a small spin at the beginning but then with experience it will look better better and then eventually you will do it like this move number two is the red bull suction pretty simple move make sure that your hand a uh, little wet so if you right-handed hold your can in your right hand solid grip so your left hand should be in this position and find the middle like like pretty much right there in the hand so so this is the starting position for the move and you need to uh, do the trick rotate your can kind of like put some pressure from your right hand and then open your left hand like this at the same time so it, it's pretty pretty simple try not to relax your hand because you're gonna lose can and one more time start in position like this and you just need to open it and rotate clockwise at the same time like this one two usually just take maybe five ten minutes to learn it doesn't come that easy but again if you keep trying for like maybe five ten minutes you will do it easily and of course let me just show you how it should look let's say uh, you make in a vodka red bull you pour vodka and then you take red bull uh, let's say you rotate and end up uh, in, in this position so you should just uh, simply rotate a little bit more open your can and then start pouring like this I tried it many many times and guests absolutely love this uh, trick. The only downside of this trick basically that uh, you can use it only if you uh, make uh, something with Red Bull but uh, keep in mind you also can use the smaller can, you also can use the ginger beer so, or a Coke Sprite, it works the same but uh, to me I found it uh, the easiest uh, to use a Red Bull and by the way keep in mind your can should be closed if, if you already opened it you wouldn't be able to do it second time or it will be pretty pretty hard next uh, shaker flip with liquid inside uh, you guess find it absolutely fascinating when you do any kind of tricks with uh, liquid inside. Make sure that they, they see you pour like half ounce or most I would recommend probably an ounce and either you throw from hand to hand or if you do the trick from the same hand, just depends on your experience. Of course, uh, my experienced bartender should be doing a little bit harder tricks, you know, maybe you can guys do uh, tricks like this or even uh, uh, throw 
behind the back. But to all my beginners, you don't have to do any of those hard moves. It will be really impressive if you just do regular one single rotation from hand to hand or from one hand to another. You don't even need to do double just because it will be much harder and not so safe, but the effect on your guests will be exactly the same. So one more time, you don't have to pour a lot of liquid. I would recommend to pour no more than an ounce and just do a single flip from hand to hand or do it from uh, your left to right hand and from right to left hand and it would be even easier if after the pour you put your bottle back into the well and then just do it like this from hand to hand. Next would be balances and I mean all kind of balances. Usually uh, we teach students to hold on hand, forearm, elbow, elbow and if you have more experience on forehead. Really impressive and efficient if you do just a regular tosses like this. And harder like this. And even harder like this. But in general, if you beginner, option number one and option number two should be really easy. I would recommend though to practice with plastic bottle like this and a pour. Hold neck, regular throw, place it on the hand. I have really big tutorial on my channel on how to learn basic balances. So if you're new to flare bartending, I'm going to leave for you a link in the description. And of course my experienced bartenders can do the balances using a beer and an opener like this. Or also maybe using a cocktail and a bar spoon. So again, it just depends on your skills, uh, but balance is a pretty powerful and it doesn't matter if you just do regular on a hand, forearm, or if you get creative and do harder tricks. Uh, last and by far the most impressive would be multi-pour. It's actually the easiest trick to learn and anyone with no skills can learn it within like 5-10 minutes. You can do it with shots or drinks, uh, start with like only uh, two glasses and I will show it to you six, but you can do ten and more. Okay, first you need to choose your glassware. I wouldn't recommend to use small cups and you will see why. Right now I will show it to you based on uh, rush glasses. So if you're making two drinks, you need to use three shakers. Um, you pour your shots or spirit into the shaker. In general, I wouldn't, you, I wouldn't recommend to use more than two or three ounces. And then you put ice. See, for example, if you serve it in rocks glasses, uh, you fill it up with ice. One, two. Come, put them together. And this is exactly how you measure if you put right amount of ice. So it definitely shouldn't be sticking out like this. Or if you put not enough ice, it's just you will see that it's gonna be pretty much like this. So it wouldn't work. This is perfect. Okay, you measure it, one, two. Have your uh, glasses ready. Put a third a shaker on top. And then you start uh, pouring. You bring it like as close as possible. Uh, and then you start pouring slowly, one, Two, and at the end you raise it a little bit higher, 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 like this. And then you cut, separate them and put into the sink. It works absolutely the same if you need to pour four, six, eight shots or more. Six cups, seven shakers. You could use different color or the same color, it doesn't matter. I usually pour no more than two ounces. You put all ice, you start stacking them together. One, two, one, two, one, two. Just to double check, you measure one, two, that looks right. You put all six together and then always empty shaker on top. Uh, make sure that all your glasses uh, right next to each other so there's no big gaps like this. Sometimes bartenders get creative and they like put like extra cup and this one could be like a little bit higher but make sure that they like uh, stand right next to each other and then have a solid grip of the bottom like this and solid grip on top. You start pouring like this first slowly wait and then you go second third etc etc and at the end you start raising so it would look more impressive 
One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you do cut, separate them on half, put it in the sink, and give these shots away. Um, I've done it so many times and just make sure that you allow it, use it at your bar. In my opinion, this is the most impressive trick. And again, it's super easy to learn. Just make sure to practice with water first and then start with two, three. If you're planning to do more than 10, I would recommend to have two rows. Let me show you really quick. So that way you pour four, of course, you should be holding them like this. I just wanted to show you guys how it looks from, from this side. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So those were like five moves that I tested myself and I know they really help you to impress your guests. But uh, keep in mind, guys, that still the biggest tips you will make uh, by providing exceptional service for your guests and making outstanding cocktails. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments if there's any other moves that you use to impress your guests, maybe uh, tricks with garnishes or anything. I would like to hear your opinion. And again, if you liked it, please consider subscribing, find me on Instagram, and I will see you next week.